guys, what's up? It's Sean Autotopia LA. I'm here with Brian. Brian has brought over his badass, fully custom truck that we're gonna get into because this one has just a ton of details on it. So you start with a 56 clean truck or like total Cab. donor? Cab only. Cab only. Cab and one door. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so you've really built a truck here. I've built, yeah, a lot of different trucks, a lot of different parts. Because you've had this one for a lot of years, right? It's been an 18 year project. Because right. you just finished this, isn't it fairly recent? A couple years ago, it okay. was running and driving around as you see it, and then swapped the engine out like three months ago. Our, Our friend trip. Bill that you guys might have seen before with his crazy cool <laughs> tea bucket got Brian into the right motor for this truck. Absolutely. And, Thanks, and Bill. Bill built it too, right? Bill and I built it together. I put stuff together, but he picked the cam and he did everything right for it. Yeah, you know. yeah. Well, since we're talking about the motor, pop the hood, we'll start there. Oh, wow. Dude, your engine bay is ridiculously clean. So LS3, and what are you making power-wise? What did Bill get for you? We're at 565. Right on. It, I mean, you know, going from a small block to this, Night and day. Game changing. Right? Night and day, yeah. And I had a good engine in it before, but <clears> this <throat> is just like, does everything well. And then what's the transmission that it goes to? It's got a 6L80 in it. Okay. Uh, so it's got a six speed paddle shift. Did you do the paint on this yourself or did you yeah. have this paint? Yeah. Really? Me and I had a couple friends that, you know, helped me out here and there too, but I had to learn if I wanted to get it finished, but they helped me, you know, figure out how to do it. It isn't like I read a book and did it, but. You're not, you're not a builder by trade. You're no. not a car builder by trade. You no. build other things. Yeah, I fabricate uh, architectural steel stuff, but nothing to do with cars. You're not a car builder. No. And you did paint, yeah. metal work, everything. It's never gone to a shop for anything. Radical. So the seats were even, even the seats, yeah, I didn't upholster them, but made the frames and took them in, had everything that I made covered and then put it all back together. Is this the first vehicle you've ever painted? Complete like this, yeah. Yeah. I know. Wow, 12 man. stage candy paint job for basically my Good way to get your feet job. wet, right? Yeah, yeah just dive, dive in, in, you know? Yeah. Why not? Let's let's make it, you know, yeah. crazy. So what are you doing suspension wise on this? I built the chassis from scratch. Really? Out of yeah, two by five and two by four uh, steel tube. And then the front's a TCI uh, show front end on shock waves. Mm -hmm. And in the back I made a four link and it's just bagged in the back also. And you made your own four link for this. Yeah, yeah, I just looked at the kit. I like how casual you say it, dude. You're like, yeah, you know, yeah, four link. No yeah. I needed one, so I made it. I mean, like, I don't know, to me, it's like, it, like people that follow the channel, they know I'm not a builder. They know I don't wrench on cars and stuff. So I, I really do marvel at any of you guys that go in your garage and start doing something and then you're out rolling around in your vehicle. It's, yeah. it's I gotta say, it is fun. It's a good feeling to do yeah, you know, something like this for sure. I mean, that's what keeps you know most people, myself included, going one after the next, get another car. I always gotta right. have a car. When something's done, I wanna- You wanna you know, go into another something. project. Yeah, I get some it. ideas and keep it going. You know? Yeah. What are the wheels on here? These are race line wheels. They look great. Yeah, like the they're powder coated and yeah. Wilwood brakes all the way around. Right. What are they, four piston or two piston? No, they're all four piston uh -huh. all the way around. Uh -huh. Did it a little different, which doesn't make sense other than appearances. The front wheel's an 18 with a 12 inch rotor. Uh huh. And the back is a 20 with a 13 inch rotor. Oh, the back interesting. Back brakes are actually bigger than the front, but I wanted to aesthetically have them sit inside the holes. Okay. The same. Okay. It was never built to be a performance truck, you know? So. Right. Yeah, this is more, although you've got the power, it, it's more cruise mode. So back here, I know you've done a ton of fabrication on this thing, right? Like there's a lot, I mean, considering that you started with a friggin' cab and a door. Yeah. There's a ton of fab work that's gone in, but one thing you, you guys were starting to mention when you pulled up is your fenders here. Yeah, the rear fenders were each wide and three inches, and then the whole bed box was narrowed four inches total. So it only sticks out an inch further on each side than a factory one was, but it, yet it's wider and doesn't have tubs and stuff. So. Right, yeah, right. That's such tubs. a cool idea to, so you still have a clean bed. That's that's a really cool idea, dude. So did you make these or did you did you have a fender and then add on to it? I had sets of fenders. I bought sets of fenders and okay. pieced them together to make those, yeah. Did it take two sets per side to get the width it that took, you got? Yeah, four fenders total. Four fenders to get two. Yeah. Radical. Yeah. 
I love what you guys do, man. You guys, I swear, it really, it really does. It really trips me out. But now, when I see lines like this that look really sharp, is that stock or is that you guys like blocking and sharpening? Yeah, we pe I peeked out a lot of stuff and made it really sharp, and then just before getting ready to paint, just knocked it down just a little bit to soften it. Okay. Up. And this line here, this would usually be a drip rail, right? Yeah. What'd you guys do here? Oh, uh, we just cut and pinch and weld and you know. And fill it. I love how casual he makes it all sound. You know, just a little cut, pinch, well. Yeah. And then back to the bed is spectacular, man. What is this material? That's just steel, uh, oh, 16 gauge steel channel. And then it's aluminum T bar. And just basically trim that out. Pitching. And you said this, this opens? Yeah. So this tilts up, and you can see the frame, and that's how you actually fill the gas tank. Because oh, there's wow. no. There's no. Right, there's yeah. no filler anywhere. Yeah. I assume it's hydraulic? It's got actuators. Oh, got it's it. Electric. Yeah, okay. Like actuators. I love this, by the way, the, how you outlined it like that. To, I mean, putting green against red, like, that just pops <laughs> like just, crazy, man. Yeah, thanks. All right, so let's go to the interior here, because although it looks fairly simple, but once again, detail. God, dude, this thing has so many cool little things going on. I love this pattern you worked in on the on the seat, man, and, and you kept it going through the dash and stuff. That's just beautiful, man. Nice. What's the gauges from? Those are Dakota Digital. Mm -hmm. And then how about the wheel? I think it's like eBay stuff. So, so much of this, <laughs> so much of this really, I mean, I'm not ashamed to say because it's all about what you pick and put stuff together. For sure. But like, you know, steering wheel or like the hub or a lot of stuff, all the components on the engine are, Amazon and eBay. I love that you put paddle shifts on here too. That's when I when I turned to a six speed, I think that's when I started and I found the PSI makes those. And uh, I read about them and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna have a automatic six speed paddle shifters would be the way to go. Yeah. It's got the whole behind the seat is all speaker box with 10, 10 inch subs back there and it's got an Alpine digital amp. Bitching. And and then speakers up above too in there. Oh yeah. Great, Brian. Yeah. I dig it, dude. Well, let's let's close this sucker and let's, let's go for it. It. let's go for a drive, dude. Let's do it. This sounds kind of cool to get it. Sounds good. It's raspy. What what did you? Is it all like a custom exhaust too? Yeah, it was a um, stainless steel custom exhaust. Uh, you buy the bends and then you just weld everything together and make it whatever you want. Any so, uh, mufflers at all, or? It's got Borla mufflers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds so massive. And that's the paddle shift. I right love now. that, dude. That's so cool. <laughs> A little louder than it is. Yes, fast, I so love it. Fun. That's so cool. I, I, and I love that it's every once in a while I get someone like you that's not a professional builder that builds a car or truck that's really exceptional. You know, this is a, it's a rare occasion. Like there's a lot of garage built cars that are, eh, they're okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's perfect. 
All right, you guys, well, that is it for our shoot of this killer, killer custom truck. I absolutely love this thing. I mean, it's funny to me that three things I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big truck guy, I love this truck. I'm not a big airbag guy, I love that it's bagged. And I'm not a big green guy, and I absolutely love the colors on this. Especially by the time you guys are seeing this, it's gonna be Christmas Eve. This is the perfect Christmas Eve color. But just a staggering truck, and the idea that Brian's not a professional builder, that he does something else for a living, and that he has the ability to build on this level, paint, do everything he did, and all in his garage. I'm just totally blown away by this one. So that's it for today, man. I hope you guys had a good time in this episode. As always, thank you for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later. Later.